Hi guys, here we are in the middle of the summer. And half of it's gone, we got half to go. But I want to talk to you today about really preparing for the fall. And how successful do you think you'll be? Well, it all depends on habits. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Our habits determine, determine how high we go. And it's your habits that got you here. It's your habits that will move you forward. There's three aspects of habits I'd like to look at. Now, there are a lot more, but there's three. Just to, for the sake of time, I want to talk about the power of reflection, the power of direction, and the power of perfection. And that's part of your habits. When you begin to have a habit in those three, that will drive you further not only in your leadership journey, but also in your life's journey. It'll help you at home, it'll help you among friends, and it'll also help you in your career. So let's take the first, this habit of reflection. And I've learned that from many people, and I'm an advocate of silence and solitude, where I like to spend time alone and thinking and reflecting. And I'll reflect on uh, a year as it goes by. I'll reflect on weeks and days and months as it goes by. I'll assess myself. Why? Because reflection helps me to know where I've been and what I've done. And that'll help me to understand if I'm on point to get to where I want to go. Are there any deviations? You know, when you're on a highway, did I get, get off an exit and I'm not on the road I thought I was on? And sometimes there are places where if you're not paying attention, you'll end up on a different road without realizing you got off on an exit when you were supposed to change lanes. Reflection will help you to know when to stay in your lane or when to change lanes. Reflection will help you to know what you're good at, what you're not good at. Reflection will help you to know when there's time for a change or when it's time to stay the course. Now, why is that so important? Because reflection leads into the second one, and that's direction. The habit of maintaining direction, that's a discipline. To stay in the right direction takes discipline, and that's going to ride on the discipline of reflection. Knowing and being armed with where you've been will help you to orient yourself now and move forward. Think about walking into an office building and you get into the elevator lobby, and we've all seen them. You look at the elevator, and before you press that button to the elevator, you usually see a sign that says, you are here and it instantly orients you so you know you're in the right elevator bank. You actually know where you are in the lobby. And from that point, you can get to where you need to go. Well, that's what reflection does. Reflection brings you up to date and says you are here. And from there, you can head in any direction you need to go. So it prepares you for the direction. Are you going up in the elevator? Are you going down? Are you taking the staircase? Are you walking across the lobby? It all depends on where you need to be. Reflection that orients you helps you to decide whether to change direction or not. Reflection helps you to monitor your progress or lack of it. Reflection helps you to get to know yourself. How did you do during the last economic downturn? How did you do in 2020? Many people, I guess for all of us, I shouldn't say many, all of us, it was a very difficult year. Personally, it's a very difficult year. In business, it was a very difficult year. Well, it's a great year to reflect on. How did you come through that? How did you navigate it? What decisions did you make? Did you make quality informed decisions or did you make emotional reactionary decisions? Well, reflection can help you uncover that and you can learn from that. And you can extract gems from the mistakes we make because you want to learn how not to repeat them and it could also extract the wisdom from the successes. So both successes and failures can provide wisdom for you. Reflection brings that out because it's the successes you want to replicate. And that will help you to maintain direction or change direction. Direction is very important because direction speaks of progress. Are you nearer your goal or not? Are you moving along with the right people or not? You know, the wrong people can cause you to change direction. Reflection helps you to look back and say, does this person need to be here or do they need to be there? Do I need to be 
be with more people like this or more people like that. Now that's not personal, that is just a fact of life. Reflection helps you to maintain direction. Direction helps you to maintain the steady course in your purpose to arrive at the desired outcome. Very high probability of nailing the outcome you are looking for if you maintain direction. A few degrees to the left, few degrees to the right don't matter when you start out but if you don't reflect you may not realize that one degree change now has you 30 degrees off your course so you keep reflection to maintain direction and it leads to the third habit and that is perfection now no one is perfect but perfection meaning you perfect the habit of reflecting and redirecting or maintaining direction. You perfect the habit of thinking. You perfect the habit of analyzing yourself, assessing yourself honestly. You perfect that. And when you perfect it, you have this fluid motion where it becomes unconsciously done. You're not even aware you're doing it half the time. Intuitively, you'll know when to reflect. Intuitively, you'll know when to maintain direction or change it. Intuitively, you'll know you're getting better at it. Because when you perfect it, it's another sharp tool in your toolbox. And you'll be a better leader, a better person to be around. You'll add more value to people because you know where you're going. You know why you're headed there. You know how you got there because of reflection. You maintain the direction. The direction will have you perfect your tools that you have with you. And learning from experience, you could pass that on. You become invaluable to people around you. And it all starts with habits. Maintain good habits. It'll get you where you want to go. Talk to you next time.